Hi all, we all know that from October to December, the coastlines of Tamil Nadu state receives half of its annual precipitation. Most of the precipitation occurs due to the formation of depression in the Bay of Bengal. Knowing this, do we know how government mitigate all the natural disaster caused by this cyclone? That is what we are going to see in this video. See, one of the first step in cyclone related disaster management is a good early warning system. In India, the cyclone early warning system is aided by three organizations. The Indian Meteorological Department, IMD, it has various land based observatories. Then the Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services, in short called as INCOIS. It also has a number of ocean based observatories. And finally, the ISRO has a network of weather satellites to monitor cyclogenesis. See here, genesis means origin. So, cyclogenesis is nothing but origin of cyclone. Now, these organizations work in tandem to ensure the efficient monitoring of cyclones. Now, remember, not just tracking of the cyclones, the information must be communicated to the people and the government officials to ensure effective preparedness. In India, we have the Digital Cyclone Warning Dissemination Systems, in short called as DCWDS. Now, this DCWDS create and transmit cyclone warning messages to unmanned satellite receivers installed all along the Indian coastal line. The IMD and the state government use this information to alert the public using radio, TV, SMS and the internet. Okay. Now, the third important measure is structural mitigation measure. The structural mitigation measure starts with hazard mapping. See, once the hazard mapping is done, the area that are more prone to cyclones are provided with stricter building codes to withstand the effects of the cyclone. The hazard mapping also helps with proper land use planning. In addition to this, in areas that are more prone to cyclone, proper cyclone shelters are created. Then comes the management of coastal zones. C. To reduce the impact of cyclone, proper management of coastal zones is important. Here, India has focused on building up bio shields. Bio shields are nothing but biological mechanisms for protecting coastal communities from the fury of cyclones. Mangrove forests constitute one such mechanism for safeguarding the ecological security of coastal areas and the livelihood security of fishing and farming communities living in the coastal zone. Okay? The shelter bells using mangrove are established under the National Afforestation Program NAP scheme. The next step is awareness generation. See, creating awareness among the grassroots will result in long-lasting positive impacts. Here, India follows community-based disaster management, that is CBDM. Through this, people are imparted the knowledge regarding the do's and don'ts during disasters. Here, the knowledge regarding both mitigation and adoption are provided to the community. This helps in the long term. Here, National Cyclone Disaster Management Institute that is NCDMI also plays an important role along with collection of cyclone related information and focusing on research the NCDMI also focuses on generation of customized warnings in local languages for community level response so this aids in awareness generation now the final measure is disaster response Remember, the important step involved in cyclone-related disaster management is the response of the government at the event of the cyclone. The Disaster Management Act 2005 lays down institutional and coordination mechanism for effective disaster management at the national, state, district and local levels. As mandated by this act, the government of India creates a multi-tiered institutional system consisting of the National Disaster Management Authority NDMA, headed by the Prime Minister, the State Disaster Management Authorities SDMAs, which is headed by the respective Chief Minister, and the District Disaster Management Authorities DDMAs by the District Collector. These bodies will facilitate a more proactive holistic and integrated response to cyclone related disasters. NDMA has prepared the guidelines for the management of cyclones to assist ministers and departments of government of India and it also helps the state governments to ensure effective response in the event of a cyclone. So these are all some of the important points that you have to remember with respect to India's cyclone disaster management initiatives. 
So to know more concepts related to government initiatives, please do subscribe to Shankara AS Academy YouTube channel. Now, thank you for listening.